Hi, this is Ahmed from Silden Tutorials. Today I have a video about how can we recover the Cisco SG300 switch that's, that's flashing at the system power. So let's have a quick look on the switch. So this is the switch. Uh, I'm gonna power. And as we see, we have the, uh, the status of the system is flashing forever. Even if I try to connect any cable on that switch, it's not going to work. And it seems like all the, all the interfaces is down. So uh, if I have a look on the console, so this is the console of the switch. I have plugged a serial cable from the switch to my computer and I use the Secure CRT software on my Mac so that I connect to uh, the switch. But before I get started, I would like to mention something about the session options. Uh, the powder, it should be 115200. This model of the switch is needed that baud rate, if you did not choose that baud rate, you may have some problem in encoding characters, right, and so on. So uh, the port is my uh, my console and CU, the USB dot serial. It's already registered and had the driver installed on my computer. The database 8, the parity none, the stop bits is 1. So as we see, this is the, uh, the console once I reboot the switch. As you see, it asked me about the MAC address of the switch. It seemed like the switch lost its own MAC address, and that's why it's being stuck on the system flashing status. So, uh, fortunately, if I go back to the switch now with my camera to the back of the switch, you will find the MAC. This is the serial number and the MAC, and the BID. So this is the MAC address, I have just copied from the back of the switch and all I need I just copy that MAC address and the console of the switch. V4 E9 B0 6 E F6 Three six, and I'm gonna hit enter. V four, V nine, V zero, F three six. All right now, let's say that the MAC address has been written in the flash memory, and now it asks me for the hardware version. I hit enter and now I put the serial number E N I one seven zero three zero six V Z. I'm gonna hit enter and now it's, it's like doing firmware of or fresh install This was my serial number. I'm copying it from my picture. All right, now we have the switch that has been recovered. Uh, if I uh, if I have a quick look at the switch, right now the switch. As you see,
as you see, the port is online now, and the status on my computer as well say that there's an interface that changes to the status up. At the end, I hope this video has been informative for you. I would like to thank you for viewing. If you're liking my video, don't forget to hit subscribe and like my video. Thank you so much.